Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Seth Volnoff. All right, here's a live look in Mattoon tonight. Uh, not too much activity that way, and they just barely miss getting in on some of that storm activity earlier. We can see uh, not too much happening at the moment, but this is what you missed out on here. Let's look at some spots that saw some pretty nice sized hail. This was in Long Creek. As you can see, uh, this hailstone surpassing the size of a quarter. We take a look at some more. It looks like in Mount Zion, you maybe had a, at least golf ball size hail is what that appears to be. Just kind of eyeballing it, looking at there in the hand. And this one indicator, you can see just a little more jagged. Sometimes those hailstones have almost a little bit of that uh, sharpness to them. This one also uh, getting close to that golf ball size. And look at some of these. These are at least two inches wide. You're talking about uh, egg size hail, even getting closer to that uh, tennis ball size. So we saw some pretty impressive hailstones and it came from one storm. You can tell the path that took all the way from southern Iowa all across central Illinois, and it finally started to uh, kind of taper off by the time it got into Douglas County. But just look at all these hail reports that came on in various sizes and again highlighted by uh, even up to tennis ball size hail there in a couple of spots. There was that one storm. We got a six hour loop on it. You can see it jump into the picture and it just stole the show the entire time. Just that one storm across uh, the central part of the area. Now we uh, could be watching maybe for a few more showers and some more gentle storms up here to the north throughout the night, but it looks like our main threat for any kind of uh, big time severe weather is actually behind us. Let's look at those temperatures. You can see where that a warm front settling in big difference in temps. We're almost at 70 in Effingham, but up to the north it is just 43 degrees in Watsika, so almost a 30 degree spread there from the farther uh, north towns to the farthest south one. So we will watch for a few more storms tonight. Those percentages starting to trickle on down as obviously the uh, biggest punch has already been packed. We look at how future track handles the rest of the night, though. We might see just a few more of those showers and milder storms, especially north of I-72 for the rest of the night. Let's talk about tomorrow, though, because we could have some more activity on our hands again. And notice the precip chance is looking a bit higher there for tomorrow. So we we're expecting about an 80% chance. I think a lot of people are going to get in on this shower and storm activity. Some of it's going to be severe in a different form than the ones that we're going to see there later on to the night. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. But there's that slight risk covering pretty much the south half of the area. Things get a little more interesting interesting down just a little bit south of I-70 there as you see that enhanced risk that's going to be just off down there to the south again but we will be watching for pretty much everything tomorrow some of these storms when they tap into the biggest instability we'll be able to provide some of that uh, tornado threat that we kind of were missing a little bit today but also that hail and wind threat is going to be evident and a thing to note too we could be seeing some flash flooding with the second round of storms tomorrow there's your tornado risk index it's going to be highest down there around I-70 tapers off as you go a little bit farther up there to the north but I think the environment that's in place tomorrow is going to be a little more uh, it's going to be a little more reliable than what today's was I just think today's was always a little bit conditional but tomorrow's looking a little more uh, set in place there could be talking about hail the same size again maybe we get up to a tennis ball there in a couple of spots and notice that our axis of instability is going to get a bit farther to the north this time so we've got a little more uh, a little more territory to work with for some of those stronger storms here's how one version of future track handles it could be kind of a busy afternoon we might see some more individual cells kind of pop up there into the picture early could get pretty noisy at times. It's going to be hard to completely nail down where we're going to see those storms here with this one. But we do know by the end of the night, they're going to cluster up there and uh, bring some pretty heavy rain there at times. We're talking about rainfall totals in a couple of spots. We could be talking about two to three inches by the time it's all said and done. It's kind of another busy day tomorrow. A little more widespread for your rain chances. Obviously, Easter is coming on. Don't worry about that uh, logo there. After we get through some of these storms, though, Wednesday, not out of question to maybe get a few snowflakes before we finally start to get back to reality and get some uh, sunny skies and some nice milder temperatures. So pretty uh, loud into uh, March going out like a lion for sure. Yeah, lots to monitor into tomorrow too. And then finally we finally we get a break at the end at least. All right, Seth, thanks.